All right, so there's there's what it looks like when we get the first coat sanded um, using the big DA mud hog with 36 grit paper. Um, you take your first coat off. Where you want to stop this this is where knowing a little bit about it is going to be better than you have to feel it. Okay, you can't feel it with the tips of your fingers. You got to feel it with the ball of your hand, and you can tell. Okay, all these spots are high. This, a lot of these spots you can just use as a reference. When you start sanding and you get to metal, stop because you're either that metal's either going to be high or the surrounding areas are going to be low. It's still low over here. We got a couple low spots here. These are high. I'm going to have to tap them down just a little bit, not too much. Um, and then I got a low here and a low here, a little bit low there. This actually feels pretty good. So that's on to our second wipe. Um, we'll clean up the edges a little bit first and then uh, we'll put some more on there and have another cup of coffee. What, what is it that Matt says? While we wait, we hydrate. It, except it's coffee and that's, that doesn't hydrate you. Okay, next. Good. Okay, this is, this is a shrinking hammer. If you look at it, it's got these waffles on here. And what this does is when you hit the, when you hit the metal, it actually takes that metal and makes it close to the shape of this hammer. So it's squeezing a little bit in all, all around. So it'll shrink the metal a little bit. Just put a dolly up behind it so you got something good to strike against. start to feel a little bit of an indent okay it's better to have a little bit of an indent put some filler in it than it is to have it high um, that's something that comes with time um, you know just hit it a few times feel it hit it a few times feel it um, a lot of times I can see it so I know where to stop but when, you, when you're just learning you only want to hit it just a couple of times and you can go over and do any of the high spots that you see. Give them just a quick tap. That way. There's some areas you may not have access to the inside. Be very careful that you don't knock it in too far. But body hammers come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. This this is good when you're shrinking to shrink metal. Um, they also have what's called a slap file. It's kind of shaped like an S, and it's a file, and you, you just hit it with your coffee cup. Yeah, with the coffee cup. No, you just hit that hit that file on your metal with a dolly behind it, and you can get a little closer. It's like I said, it's better we to have, have it. We got one. A slap file? Mm -hmm. Probably do. Used to. Yeah. It could be anywhere. Who knows? Um, but it, it's better to have it in a little bit than than out. Um, ideally, you want it perfect. That doesn't necessarily happen. Don't use your uh, your waffle hammer. What I call it, your shrinking hammer on uh, tie rod ends because you're going to ruin it. Yes. It's supposed to be sharp. Right. This one isn't. This one probably got used for something else. I got a brand new one if you want to use it. I ain't never used it. Yeah. But the tip, 
they should be sharpened. That, that's how you shrink the metal because basically what it does, when it, when it hits the metal, it makes this, in, it, it, all of these parts that stick out now stick in in your metal and it will take metal from around it and just kind of shrink it down a little bit. It, it doesn't, you know, it's not, honey, I shrunk the kids kind of shrunk, but it, it puts it down a little bit. So you put another wipe on there, filler. Um, we'll go over it with 36 again. Um, oh yeah, that's a good one. Yep. 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 Um, you really had to fill it to, I don't think you yeah, can see you it can. on camera, but. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, see the difference. This one I've probably had for about 20 years, um, and this one is is new. Same name brand too. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, pretty much. No, yours says Metco too on it. Does it? Yeah, but I think it's engraved on the other side. Well, that's because the old school they used to engrave stuff. Yeah. Now they, they don't. Put a sticker on it. Now they just put a sticker. Yeah, over the made in China part. Yeah. Did I ever tell you? Nah, I'm not going to tell you a story. Um, <laughs> but that's, you know, let it set up a little bit more. Um, and we'll come back and we'll put another coat on it and go from there. And then I'm going to show you work in the corners. Um, the corners you pretty much got to do by hand with a block. Um, you can kind of rough it in with the mud hog, but the mud hog's not made for contours. and The mud hog's made for flat surfaces. Uh, long board, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for a long time. When I first started out, everything I did was by hand. And then I met my wife. <laughs> no. <coughs> I get it. No. I to... no. Um, but I, I didn't have any air tools because I did it all outside in my driveway, learning how to do this stuff. Um, so I used a long board and, and just did everything by hand. And that that's why I always you know use a ratchet instead of the electric one because you got to get a feel for it. It's the same doing body work as, as tightening up a bolt doing mechanical work. You, you need to get a feel for where it is. If you're just pulling a trigger on something, you, you don't really know. Once you get used to doing this kind of work, you can use the power tools, and, and but to teach yourself how to do body work and to actually get a feel for it, most of the stuff that you can do by hand is, is really going to serve you well. Yeah, speed comes with time. Yes. Yep. Uh, and the whole thing with power tools is just speed the process up, but right. you want to perfect your technique first. Exactly. And then and you then, can move up yeah. to some tools. Kind of like any other sports. Or, yeah. We're athletes or yeah. and artists. We are. And, you know. and it, it's, it comes from it's learning. Um, I thought a lot of way back when, like trade schools and stuff, somebody just goes, oh, I want to be a body man. So they go to a trade school. Well, there, there's a certain amount of this that really can't be taught. You, you've got to have an aptitude for it. You need to be able to see and feel a straight line. Um, you know, it's like hanging pictures. I, I can hang a picture without a level, and I'm usually right on. Me too. I never you know. use a level. I use um, the eyeball. Yeah. The like good one. The, like the wheels you Yeah. Trust I me know, man. This cart is awesome. I like this cart. I, I, like I said, I am going to. If I'd have used the measuring tape, you'd have fell over. I would have fell. You got to be off just a little bit to, to, to make up there. for the initial inertia of the gravitational pull. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And they call that barometric pressure. Exactly. With the humidity. Uh, and the moon. The moon. You see the, the uh, cycle of the other moon. Day? There's two of them. I don't see right now. Dude. No. No. Because they're pointing right at you. You're no, like, they're you not the point. pot of gold. They're not, <laughs> <laughs> they're not pointing. They have no pot of gold, I'll tell you that. Keep drinking. People will tell you I'm a chunk of lead. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever. I, I like doing what I do. So, All right. I'm going to have my coffee. Let this set up a little bit now. And Coated again, like I've said four times, because he won't shut the camera off, and I just got to keep saying the same stuff. But just football tackle it. What? Just football tackle it. <laughs> Good. Have a hug. We got, we got some more of our remodeling done, so now we got Austin, who is highly trained. His uh, his hands are dangerous weapons. He's gonna Judy chop this door so it can fit in the toolbox. 
or dumpster. <laughs> so commence to Judy chopping. Go for it. Now, <laughs> use your mind. And new boots. <laughs> I would football tackle it. Me too. That's what I'd do. Oh, that's not a football tackle. I, I don't play football. Just play. run into it, slam into it. Ah, oh, that won't work, man. That is a solid inch and a half thick oak door from an uh, antique store that we got Vietnam. in Vietnam. Yeah. Man. Solid. Solid. It's solid oak. I'm gonna Judy chop it. I'd headbutt this ready? thing clean down when I was. A I'm kid. gonna hurt myself. I was a kid throwing a tensum tantrum auto. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna hurt myself. I want Austin. We should throw Austin into it. I'll get him by the feet and you get him by the hands. He's in there getting some kind of mechanical advantage. I know. <laughs> it's tougher than it looks. No, it's it's not. It's just gotta be placed correctly. Right there. I can already see it starting. I got it started for you. Dive into it, get it with your shoulder. No, no mechanical advantage. You gotta you gotta Judy chop it. Just see? there you go. Now body slap. Kick those up. Solid, solid oak. Tough guy. Yep. That's now you why we buy your mom and dad a new a, a door. <laughs> oh, know? that's right. Your dad was going to use uh, that. Well, do that. Uh, oh. Show him. Show him. Show him now. I think we got to commemorate it and put it on the other door. No. <laughs> we could. <laughs> That. But there you go. It, it's scary watching Austin flex on stuff, Man. tear stuff up. You, you know, he is pretty strong, though. I think he had a Red Bull with his eight sandwiches today. Sandwiches are good. He said, I'm, I'm going to go in there and make some sandwiches. I'm some. like, oh, sweet. We can all have a sandwich. No, that's not how it was. He was going to make some sandwiches. Hour later, I walked in there and he's like, mm, mm, no. I'm still almost passed out eating sandwiches. Is that not true? I only had two. And then he came in yesterday and he's sitting there at the table and said he's going to make a loaf of sandwiches. I had two, yeah. Welcome to two. Redneck Avenue. That's I called straight piping. You don't do that. You don't squat your diesel trucks. You don't straight pipe anything. Um... And you get good with your Judy chops and, and remember to use you. In case of that drunken octopus gets in there. Yeah, he threw it away. He said he wanted to save it. I told him no. Then I told him yes, we'll go ahead and save it. He's wanting and to he, build a fort. And then he threw it away anyway. That's his fort right there. The trash can. Yep. Hey. Alright, come in here and have here's the Jeep. Um, this is start over. Okay. Here's the Jeep. That's an 80 grit. That's three wipes. Um, everybody, I, I know the comments inevitably are going to be, oh my God, he put so much filler in that Jeep. Actually, no, I didn't. When I told you 90% of it ends up on the floor, what I meant by that was 90% of it ends up on the floor. Okay? So I already swept up once. I swept up yesterday. Matt swept up yesterday. And here's what I got. Okay? Well, the stuff I swept up, I actually threw it in trash. I know. This is this is from one episode of sweeping this. Now, Bondo, excuse me, polyester body enhancer, when you get it, is really only fold about here anyway. Okay, so we got about three quarters of a can, and everybody says, dust doesn't weigh as much as Bondo does. I settled it, tapped it on the floor and everything. You can go get a new can of Bondo and feel it, and it's roughly the same weight. So that's what ends up on the floor. That's what you end up with a finished product. Um, on camera, it kind of looks like a can of Bondo. Just show it the does, I know. No, it's it's just dust. Show. That's pure Peruvian Bondo dust right there. Peruvian? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, but anyway, now it's it's ready. We'll scuff the rest of this up because there's no body damage on it anywhere. Um, I'll make sure all the holes for the flares, the running boards, all that stuff is done. Um, then we'll scuff this up and it's ready for a couple of coats of high build. What, what you see here, once, once we put the high build primer on it, that is thick enough to where it's going to cover any imperfections that you see here. Little pinholes, uh, any of that, we'll, we'll take care of it when we prime it. But it really isn't that hard. I didn't put a ton of work in, into doing this. I mean, it's what it is. What it is. It's done. So we just got to put some primer on it and block it out and paint it. So there you go. See you tonight. Meanwhile, Jim's in here working. Allison's out here playing around. With wood yeah, I played Judy Chops. Come on. Or should I get the torch? Hey. <laughs> Did it light? Yeah. Well, I'll be dead. I'll just have to hold it for yeah. a minute for the thermocoupler to heat up. Thermocoupler. That's it. It's a Skynet thing. It's behind the scenes Joe up there, everybody. Risking his life to keep us warm. That's right. Because <laughs> it's much better than a bear hug. Yeah. But he is certified in uh, fixing stuff. Anything. Yeah. So I got. Did it that. just light all the way across? I just heard it light. Yeah. yeah. We got heat. Yeah, no, we just got to figure out the fan. You need an extension cord. Is that fan? Is the fan turned on? The thermostat's on. That's only. It's only one knob on it. In that old yeah. tube, twisty. Yeah, I seen it in there. Wonder if it has to heat up to a certain point. Probably does. Mine point. used to. Well, let's give it a minute, then I'll. Yeah, let's let some gas leak up. Well, no, Fill it's up. lit. I, I see the fire. Yeah. In fact, I better close this. There we go. Hell, just that fire's warm. You got some marshmallows? <laughs> How do you go from 81 million votes the most ever to 38% approval rating in only 10 months? Yeah, you don't. A, you didn't really get 81 million votes. It's weird having that, that door there. I feel some heat, something to do, or is it just is my hoodie? that got water going through it, or what's the deal? Just what? Just hot air. How is it? It's just hot air. What do you mean? The heat, the, the gas heat. probably how does heats it, some coils up. How does it make heat? It heats up the coils and blows the heat across the coils. Yeah. Like a radiator on them rides. But it has no water in it. No. No, there's no water. Should we fill it with gas? Like... Uh, 90, 93? Yeah. <laughs> that heat it up pretty he's, good. He's really obsessed with the deaths today. I know, right? Have you seen any of the footage we shot today? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've been on the road. Thank you.